I finished off last night on spot wells. All done on the bottom. Now we just got to connect the dots. And then a bit of filler, a bit of paint. So I'm going to prep the welder now, get it ready, and then we'll make a, a start today. Okay, with the stitch welder now, as you can see, I'm coming along here, I'm doing about five tacks, then another five, moving along so we spread in the heat. And we'll do that all the way down, keep spacing out until uh, you eventually fill up uh, all the space ends. Right, so that's that all well did. Very pleased with myself there. Eh? This, as you can see, I didn't do this as part of the main thing. I'm going to do a separate patch on that. Just thought it was easier rather than trying to come up over the top here. So we'll do a patch repair in there. So that's the next job. There I am so far. I'm really pleased with our butt joint and just smoothing him down there so it's getting closer to being ready for some filler did this patch there it's not brill as you can see but none of that's going to be seen so I'm not going to kill myself trying to smooth that one out So ground along the top row because this is an overlap joint well over the inner you have to leave some of the well there if I, I don't want to take it back too far and disintegrate all of the well but here because this was a back weld and we had about a millimeter gap the weld has filled the gap so in theory now I should be able to grind this back and almost have an invisible line so that's the theory let's see how Got to execute it. Bad, not bad. Going a little bit more there because it's still a bit proud, but that's not bad. Right, I'm all ground back. Everything is done now. What I'm ready to do is some 
that, that turned out okay. Some tiny, tiny pinholes there. Not even pinholes really, but just whatever the hell they are. So I'm gonna go over to a fella. some more filler there uh, probably a few other areas but get in it So that's just the high build. It's not going on the best, but I'll be flattening that back now. I have masked off all of them because you've seen the condition and what it's like. It's not going to hurt. Give that a coat back to her, and then we'll finish over the top with some nice silver. Uh, Two coats of stone chip gone on, just waiting for it to dry. Really pleased with that. I'm happy with it. I think I will be too, and he's happy too. That's the main thing. As long as Ronaldo's happy, I'm happy. Right, so next uh, thing I'm going to do is put it in, where's it gone? I've got some hammerite silver, it's not, a, it's not a perfect match to the carver, uh, to the van. We know it's stressable that because it's all his work van. Uh, it's going to be a close, close match. He needs it for work tomorrow, so I'm not going to do a base coat, lacquers. It's just get it ready for work, so... Once I dry now we'll be getting some of the silver on. Really 
is it I've got today? So I'm trying to get some heat in this with a gun. Not getting hot, just taking a chill. Okay. I like this then. Let it go off. And let it go out. So we'll probably do about another quart or two. And then we'll wrap it up. Stick a fork in it. All done, just he's a good dude, you know what? Okay. The rest of the van will fall apart around it now. It makes my van look really good, you know? Yeah. Even yeah. if it's a different colour. Give me. <laughs> it's a mackle it out. Oh, she's a beauty. Eat all them sandwiches inside now, Al. I was, I was tempted, but... Yeah, I, the, the, this side's next week, eh? <laughs> Only if you give me more sandwiches.